Hey YouTube, now that I got my voice kind of back, I'm going to make a video on this. I made one, but it was so bad because I had a cold that I decided not to do it. This is my new toy. This is a Snap-on Ethos Tech scan tool. Let me turn it on real quick here. This is for diagnosing cars made from 96 and on. And I got this on eBay for doing work on our cars. And it has the 18.4 software, and the cool thing is... It had a three-year subscription and a three-year warranty, which expires this September. So I will get the 19.2 software in April, here just next month. And this thing will cover up to 2018. Right now it covers 2017. Um, I'm going to scanner here. And you'll see all the different cars it covers. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to go into full details on this because there's a lot of videos on these. We'll go down. I mean, it's got domestic, Asian, and European cars in here. I'll even do Harley Davidson if you have an adapter. So, there you go. I don't know what workhorse. I haven't looked that up, but it does all your basic stuff. Um, touch screen. This was a used one, but it's still, it's still under warranty. And I called Snap on, and they say the subscription stays with the tool, not the original purchaser so I still have a valid subscription to this. This is my other scan tool that I have. This is the Bosch, I want to say it's called a 1300 and the benefit of it is it has the OBD1 connectors for vehicles made before 96. Uh, GM cable, Toyota, Ford, Chrysler. Um, the problem with it is, and then the OBD, Anything after 2013, it gives you generic results. So basically like check engine light results and stuff like that. Whereas this will go into everything. We'll use the demonstration real quick just to show you, which is a um, Tahoe. It's a demonstration vehicle they have built into here. Um, just real quick to show you the modules of this thing. Engine, transmission, any lock brakes, airbag, body control module, auxiliary, door switch. And this is a 2014 vehicle. I mean, there's all the different stuff it'll do. So, what's cool is on these newer cars, like on, on the Jeep we have, it's got electronic parking brake in the rear. So if you're replacing the brake pads, you have to retract that electronic brake caliper. And it's not just something where you put a C-clamp on there or a brake caliper compression tool and squeeze it back in. It's actually an electronic actuator, and this tool will do that. Although on that particular vehicle, there is an option in the menu to do that, but this tool does it. So it resets service lights, it resets check engine lights, all that basic stuff, but it does so much more. This has bi-directional controls. And for working on these newer cars, and if you're just a tech geek like me, it's kind of a, something you need to have if you're going to do your own work. I mean, it won't do the stuff the really high-end ones will, and there's some of the stuff that the dealer-level tools do that this won't, but it runs on AA batteries, and um, if you don't want to use batteries, you can also power off the car's 12-volt uh, supply that comes through the diagnostic connector. There's a 12 volt pin in there that supplies up the car's battery. I will say one thing though, if you're messing around with one of these, I was out there for about 20 minutes playing with this, just figuring out well, what it would do, and I drained the car's battery. So, if you're going to do that, have the car running or have a big charger hooked up to the car because it will drain the battery. And it's their 95 anniversary series too. The only defect was it had a little dent in the screen, but they disclosed that, so I mean it's got this also has this adapter which you can plug that power pack into and that connects to the top. But yeah, I'll make a quick video. If you want to see more about what these will do, there's plenty of YouTube videos, so I'm not going to get into all the details of it, but it's a nice toy for me and come in handy for working on these newer cars. This one's not bad. It's mainly good for older cars because this one won't go older than 96 so it is nice to have this one but it just doesn't do the stuff that will so I mean 
So all you're wanting to do is read codes and clear a check engine light. This will get you there, but if you want to do more, you need something a little more advanced. Thanks for watching, guys.